Okay, hi class. Uh, I want to help you out with this problem. This is number 71, number 12C. Uh, there's no stuff that's special about number C, but uh, just pick this one to do. Okay, so uh, we want to approach this equation here as if it were just a regular equation from high school, ax plus b equals x. The only difference is, is that when we solve for x, we're going to be finding a matrix rather than a number. So we approach it the same way. We're going to uh, subtract x from each side. And when I do that, I get um, over here, I get a x minus x. And on this side, I get 0. Now we'll subtract b from each side. So I have a x minus x equals negative b. Okay, and then this is the tricky part. Um, I mentioned that left and right multiplication uh, is different with matrices. We have the property of matrices that A, B is not necessarily equal to B, A. And so when I have matrices multiplied, I have to keep track of whether they're on the left or on the right. So if I factor this out, well, okay, X is being multiplied on the right times A, and I'll even think of X as having a negative 1 there. So when I factor this out, I want to have X on the right side. And then the other thing is, you, what do you put here? Well, what I want to have inside the parentheses are the things such that when I multiply back out, I return back to this previous line. So what is it I need to have in here? I need to have an A, so that I get AX. And then I need to have minus, and it's not 1, it's the identity matrix. When you're factoring within um, the matrix world, the 1 is the identity matrix. Okay? So the final thing is when I go to solve for X, I divide by this guy here. So that's... Uh, the inverse of that matrix. So the way we write this is x is equal to, um, again, on the left side. So this is on the left side. So when I multiply by the inverse, I'm going to multiply on the left side over on the, on the other side of the equation as well. OK, so this is going to be a minus i inverse times negative b. So that's the way it has to be. Um, you can't have this on the other side. This is on the left. It, it must be on the left. OK, so now let's go ahead and get that uh, information. So A minus I, that's a matrix. And it's found by subtracting the matrix A and the matrix I. And that gives us the matrix 4, 3, 3, 1. And that's A minus I. Now to get the inverse, we're going to use our technique where we take the original matrix and the identity and simultaneously row reduce them. Okay, my first step here is I'm going to multiply by a 1 fourth to turn that into a 1. So I'm going to go 1 fourth row 1. Okay, from there I get a 1, I get a 3 fourths, I get a 1 fourth, a 0, 3, 1, 0, 1. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first row by negative 3 so that when I add it, this becomes a 0 right here. I'm going to add that to row 2. And the matrix that I get as a result of doing that, the top row stays exactly the same. The bottom row becomes 0. This is negative 9 fourths, add that to 4 fourths, and I get 
negative 5 fourths. Then I take negative 3 and add it to that, I get negative 3 fourths and over 1. Okay? The next step is to multiply this right here by a negative 4 fifths. So negative 4 over 5 rho 2. And that produces this matrix, 1 3 fourths, 1 fourth, 0, 0, 1. When I multiply this by negative 5 fourths, the negative four, the fourths cancel, the negatives cancel, and I get 3 fifths. And the last one is negative 4. step here. I'm going to multiply this by negative 3 fourths and add it so that this becomes a zero here. So I'm doing negative 3 fourths row 2 plus row 1 and the end result will be the final step. This over here becomes the identity matrix. And let's just be a little careful about what we get on the other side. I know in advance that the second row will not change. And uh, let's just see what we get for the first one now. Okay, when I multiply 3 fourths times this, I get negative 9 twentieths. And I'm going to be adding it to this, which is 5 twentieths. Negative 9 twentieths and 5 twentieths is negative 4 twentieths, which is negative 1 fifth. And then I multiply this negative 3 fourths times this. The fourths cancels, the negatives cancel, and I get 3 fifths. And add that to 0. Okay, so this is now A minus I inverse. So x is equal to uh, negative one fifth, three fifths, three fifths, negative four fifths times negative b and that's a minus i inverse times negative. So I hope that helps you. Um, I do like that problem, and I will probably put something like that on the midterm. So uh, this is a um, blueprint for how you, how you solve that. Thank you.